What's up guys, my name is Derek Fresky and welcome back to my channel. So as most of you know, the new iPhone just came out a couple days ago and I just got the new iPhone XS Max in the mail. There's been a lot of hype around how the new camera can handle low light better than it ever has before and I saw this as the perfect opportunity for me because I love shooting in low light. I upgraded from the iPhone 7 so I wanted to show you guys how the photos compare when shooting in low light. I also haven't tested out the new feature where you can adjust the depth of field after you take the photos so we're going to try that out as well. My friend Emma is on her way over now. I asked her to bring over some outfits and come model in today's video. So if you guys want, I'm going to have her Instagram link down below for you guys to check her out after you're done watching this video. Alright guys, let's go test this camera out because I cannot wait any longer. I have not tested it out yet, so it's time. For the first look, we are going to be testing out the iPhone XS Max's low light capabilities and shoot in my bedroom. For light sources, we have these two neon tubes, a neon sign, and two battery powered lights. Prior to this phone, a lighting setup like this was super tricky to shoot with using only an iPhone camera. I'm going to be shooting on both the iPhone XS Max and the iPhone 7 to see how they compare. I noticed when I was shooting with a normal camera, those photos are super, super crisp. But when we're shooting in portrait mode, it's still like super grainy and great. Oh, uh, okay. But the normal camera is bomb. Okay. <laughs> we love her. <laughs> Now we're outside, we're gonna test out portrait mode and see how the boat goes. So we're gonna have F16, and then we can change it all the way down to F1.4. But look how like, the bokeh changes. That's crazy. It's like still so crisp at night. Yeah. Like this There's is a lot more detail. A lot more detail than the old phone. So, I wanted to throw in one last look because I loved how the photos ended up turning out. I tested how the iPhone XS Max compared to the iPhone 7 once again, but in a dark room with only a flashlight as a light source.
That is all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you don't follow me on social media, I'm going to have everything linked down below. But other than that, see you guys next time. Bye!